everybody was on board, governments, NGOs, and people on the ground. And UNHCR played also a very important role in accompanying this, this process of negotiation. This is a very important signal by our governing body, which consists of over 90 states today. It's the forum, the global forum, that meets annually on refugee issues, on statelessness issues, on IDP issues. And I think it's very important that the Executive Committee pronounced itself on the subject of birth registration. The refugee population needs to know that they have right to be protected and the actors in the field that are performing these activities needs to offer them the tools in order they get access to this protection. Les documents d'état civil, tels que les actes de naissance, peuvent améliorer de façon significative l'accès aux droits élémentaires, y compris l'éducation et la santé. La conclusion du comité exécutif de l'Agence des Nations Unies pour les réfugiés concerne l'enregistrement des faits d'état civil des réfugiés, des personnes déplacées dans leur propre pays, des apatrides et autres personnes dont s'occupe l'organisation. Assurer l'enregistrement immédiatement après la naissance d'un bébé peut aider à éviter les situations d'apatridie, en particulier durant les périodes d'exil prolongé. Il peut également aider à réunifier des enfants séparés de leur famille dans des situations d'urgence. Um, given our many years of experience working to ensure the registration of all children, uh, World Vision is particularly pleased to see that the conclusion urges states to ensure civil registration and emphasizes that every child should be registered immediately after birth without discrimination of any kind, which we think will, will help to ensure that no children are excluded from having their birth registered for reasons of their or their parents' socio-economic status. Les réfugiés sans documents d'état civil peuvent risquer la détention ou la déportation. Ils peuvent être dans l'incapacité de jouir de leur droit de circuler librement. Ils peuvent aussi être confrontés à des difficultés dans la rétrocession de leur propriété une fois retournés dans leur lieu d'habitation initial. Sans les documents d'état civil, les réfugiés restent invisibles et ne peuvent pas jouir pleinement de la protection internationale à laquelle ils ont droit de la part de l'État. What we have seen is that when people are displaced, our lawyers and our information counsellors need to try and find documentation that they can use to access the services in the locations where they're residing. Without these basic documents, such as birth certificates, such as legal entitlements, such as things like their education certificates, they can't get jobs, they can't enter school, they can't access um, other opportunities that they may be able to use to maintain their lives in these places. Now when it comes to children who are being born to families in these locations, if they don't have that birth certificate, then how do they prove when they go back that they are a citizen of the country where they're going back to? Plan International works to make every child visible. We welcome very much the EXCOM conclusion uh, on civil registration, which include the key vital life events of a person. Birth registration, marriage registration and death registration. Each and every one need a birth certificate to be able to identify themselves, to have the legal documentation. But it's also an important tool for governments themselves. Through having a good and functional system, they will know how many people live in their country. They can make planning uh, really uh, clear and they can also provide services to each and every one. The process of negotiation is very important, but the implementation is more important. One of the things that I do when I go to the field on missions is to make sure that birth registration is actually visible. Le groupe de travail des ONG sur l'enregistrement universel des naissances sous les auspices de Charles Connect disséminera la conclusion du comité exécutif de l'Agence des Nations Unies pour les réfugiés aux collègues travaillant sur le terrain pour s'assurer que la conclusion ait le maximum d'impact.